Hi, this is Wendell with Watery Wishes and today I have an art journal for you. This is actually my very first art journal and I just got all my supplies. I have posted an art journal video before but that was I think my second or third one. This was my very first one and I'm just uh, prepping the page with some gesso. This is actually in a Dilusions art journal book and now I'm just getting some Tim Holtz postal tissue paper ripping it up and then crumpling it up because I don't just want visual texture I wanted a little bit of actual texture as well so even when you stick it down there's still the creases and bumps and everything in it from scrunching it up it's not much but it's a little so here I'm just sticking it all down with some gel medium and as you can see this is sped up an awful lot it definitely don't work this fast so because this is my very first art journal page I'm I'm really just playing with all my supplies I liked how it turned out it just turned out different than what I imagined it would when I started So I'm not trying to cover up every single spot of white though I don't want to leave too big a gaps of white so now that's dry I'm using a baby wipe and some crushed grape dilutions acrylic paint and this one's London blue Now be prepared, this looks really light and bright now, but it gets really grungy and dark very quickly. <laughs> I have, I can't, re it's been a while since I did this, so I can't remember exactly how I was feeling when I did it, but I was probably in a bit of a grungy mood. And now I've taken some, uh, Ranger texture paste and some black soot distress oxide and mix that into the texture paste and I'm using a uh, Tim Holtz dot fade stencil and now I'm using some archival ink in watering can and a Finnabar stamp I think it's called pine needles but I'm not a hundred percent Now I'm using, um, it's a stamp called Gritty, it's a Kayser Craft stamp. And there's this one spot where it's just too damp and every time I keep trying to stamp it down it gets real dark there so I end up wiping it off and doing some other. And then I did some blueprint sketch I think with a it's some sort of scripty stamp, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's a Finnabar stamp as well. Now I'm just mixing some uh, the Dilution paints, the white and the black marble, white linen and black marble together to get a grey and I'm watering it down considerably because I'm going to have it dripping from the top of the page. And this is where the page starts to get dark. This is the beginning of it. I really enjoyed just playing with these paints and my supplies because they were all new to me. So 
I mean, this is the very first page in my very first art journal, so. It was a matter of just seeing how the different uh, mediums worked and moved and one big experiment. In a way, it's a shame that the page got so dark because I really like the colours here. Now, this is some stamps from the Simon Says Stamp um, Sketronunculus set. And I'm using some uh, Pitt Artist Pens from Faber-Castell. They are India ink and I'm scribbling them out on an acrylic block using some water on them and watering them down and using them similar to water paints but then they're not like water paints once they get on the paper they're sort of there it's hard to explain they definitely act more like an ink than a water paint but if you ever do it you'd understand it's And it's, it's a lot different to Distress Inks. And they are archival and permanent. They dry archival and permanent. Though when they first go down, if you've got a wet finger, you've got a little bit of time to smudge them if you actually use them like a pen. So here I went over the page again with a little bit of that... Uh, black marble then I'm going over it with again with the crushed grape and the London blue and I know it looks like a hot mess right now but that's fine it sorts itself out eventually mopped a bit of the excess water up with paper towel because I'm watering the paints down as I put them down. One, it helps them blend and uh, two, it, it makes them just a little bit more transparent. Now I'm stenciling. This is a butterfly stencil that came in one of the Simon Says Stamp uh, card kits monthly card kits and I'm using uh, Wilted Violet and Blueprint Sketch. Not much of this is visible at the end. Some of it gets moved around with the gel medium, picks it up. Some white splatter and now I've Fussy cut the flowers out and I've just uh, freehand cut some strips of cardstock for stems. And I'm just going to stick them all down. And I actually stamp there's a very similar flower in another stamp set that Simon Says released with one of their card kits. I think it's Choose Joy and it's got a tiny little round flower in it that looks very similar to the Sketch Ranunculus. So I pull that out and I stamp that a couple of times and I stamp another of the Ranunculus I think the bigger ones out and a few more leaves I think just to fill that bottom in a little bit more because I found that once I'd got all those down it looked a little bit bare and as you can see I'm coloring them in exactly the way I colored in the 
other flowers. And now that the gel medium is dry, I'm just using a, I think it's a dark grey uh, pit pen. And I'm putting it down and I'm rubbing it. And now I'm using the, the purple one and the, I think I use a bit of the blue as well. See how similar those flowers are to the, it's a completely different stamp set. But they went perfect. They're a little less sketchy and a little bit more spirally but it's a minute difference. And I was trying to cut that one when it was wet because I wanted to put the other bit over the other side. Now it's dry and I'm edging it all with a bit of uh, Distress Oxide. Here's where the page gets really, really dark. But you know what? I quite like it. It turned out okay for my very first um, art journal page. And hopefully, as I learn, uh, anyone that watches will learn with me. Like, I've learnt that that gel medium, if it's not quite dry, picks up that Distress Oxide ink and won't let it go. As it did on those, those little flowers. Now I'm putting a little bit more depth of colour into the flowers with the brush markers. Just rubbing that colour in and blending it in a little bit. Just because they were a little bit too light against that background. Now I'm putting a bit of shadow behind them. I really like these pit markers, but it's a bit of a learning curve. You've got to have your finger not so wet that it just moves it all away but wet enough that you can get it moving around just enough and I found just tapping your finger on a on a damp baby wipe is probably the best way to do it a little bit more black soot and I printed this out I oh, know I didn't. I didn't print it out. I actually stamped it out with, I think it was the perfectly penned Concord and Ninth. They've got some capital letters in there. And the sentiment says, even in the darkness, beauty can be found. And I didn't show it on camera for some reason I didn't get the footage but I used my white gel pen to put details like swirly details on the flowers and on the leaves and now I'm just doing the same thing to the sentiment as I did to the flowers so it's not stark stark white help make it blend with the page a little bit better Give it a bit of shadow. And then I think I scribble some white around it, but I'm not sure. It's 
been a while since I did this and my camera is still broken haven't heard back from Canon yet I am waiting with bated breath to get the verdict on it so that's the finished art journal oh I did a couple little circles here and there with my gel pen didn't get that on camera either but I was quite pleased with how my very first one turned out it's not perfect but it's good enough so hope you guys liked the video if you did don't forget to hit that like button I would also love it if you subscribed and don't forget have fun crafting your imagination bye